the Anunnaki, the sky gods from planet Nibiru, and the makers of man, according to Sumerian texts and legends. Seven million years ago, a chimpanzee stood up on its hind legs and a new species of hominin emerged, according to theories, and over the next few million years, hominins evolved. They were still ape-like in appearance, but these were not apes. Their brains grew larger. They created stone tools and hunted large game. They discovered fire and learned to follow their migration patterns, the migration patterns of animals they used for food, to hunt for food, clothing, and, and also find shelter. It took a few more million years for hominins to discover how to make a stone spearhead. Two million years later, that stone spearhead changed into a different shaped spearhead. Technology evolved slowly. But 300,000 years ago, Homo sapiens appeared. And before long, they, we, were the dominant species on the planet. Once they destroyed Neanderthals, once and for all, something happened and technology accelerated. It only took 30,000 years to go from Gobekli Tepe of, of uh, southern Turkey today to landing probes on other planets that we do. How could mankind evolve so fast? The answer is they couldn't. Mankind didn't evolve at all. Mankind was engineered, according to claims from the Sumerian texts and legends, purpose built to be the perfect slaves for a race of far, far off superior beings who, according to the ancient texts of the Sumerian legends, descended from the heavens as sky gods, that is, ancient aliens. And eventually the slaves rebelled and our masters, these uh, sky gods, tried to destroy us in the great flood according to the Sumerian texts. Sumerian texts, Egyptian religions, ancient Indian myths, Native American legends, Native Americans, by the way, call these sky gods Anu, and even the Bible, and they all tell the same story. It's the story of gods and men, it's the story of, it could be the Anunnaki. And this is from the Y Files from YouTube and it's Unbended Reality. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally, support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.